Hello friends, welcome back to this video lecture series on computer networks. The topic of discussion is classful addressing in IPv4 addresses and in the previous video lecture I have taught you regarding class A addressing. Now let me discuss about the class B addressing. So what are the different things you will be learning in each of this addressing is how many bits first you have to remember always that uh, IPv4 address consists of 32 bits in that how many bits are used for the network ID and how many bits are used for the host ID. So in the class B addressing 16 bits are used for the host ID and 16 bits are used for the network ID. So I can write down here network ID and here it is the host ID. Host IDs are 16. So this part is called as the prefix and this is the suffix and given an IP address you need to determine to which class that IP address belongs to. Now let us take one example like uh, just randomly I will take 130.8.2.10 130.8.2.10 this is the given IP address. Now look at the first byte because for class A you have seen that first byte should be fall in between 0 to 127 fine but for class b it is what 128 to 191 this is for the class b the range for class b is so this 128 to 120 the first byte is 130 130 lies in this range so the given ip address is a class b address now for this given ip address you are going to determine what the first address and the last address so the same logic is used here you are going to write down you are going to write down the first decimal that is the first byte that is mentioned in the IP address 130 in binary notation. So in binary notation it will be uh, how much 130 is 1000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So for 130 0, 1000 so once you write this 0, 0, 1, 0. is it 130 just check 2 to the power of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes 2 to the power of 7 128 plus 2 30 so this is the binary value for the first decimal number then comes what 8 so 8 you are going to write it in binary notation then comes 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 then you have 10 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 to get the first address you are going to perform the logical and okay bitwise logical and with what with ip address or uh, given an I, the bits of the ip address with the bits of the subnet mask now what is the subnet mask in class b how to determine because in the previous class a I told you 8 bits are meant for the network ID so the first 8 bits will be 1 and the remaining 3 octets which are meant for the host ID will be zeros and hence the default mask was 255.0.0.0 but in this case in class B we have how many 16 bits are meant for the network ID so the first 2 octets so it will be what 255.255.0.0 so this are default subnet mask for class B is 255.255.0.0 so convert that default mask default subnet mask into binary and perform the logical and operation so here so the second octet is over then finally you have what from here to here yes this is the third octet which is 0 0 0 0 and the last one fine once you convert that subnet mask value into binary perform the logical and operation when you carry out the logical and operation what is the resulting value logical and here you can get yeah there is one bit so you will be writing 
and in the third octet you can see all zeros so 